I was asked by the TLS organization to share the following message with the world regarding an urgent matter, the next pandemic. Before I share this message, I would just like to reiterate that none of what you are about to hear is intended to instill fear in anyone. Rather, to give you all a heads up of what may be coming, and most importantly, what we can do to stop it. The intention of TLS choosing to share the following message with the world is to expose a plan before it happens in order to make the individuals behind this sinister agenda think twice before they do what they are about to do. Most importantly, if this video is shared with the world and seen by the masses, our premature awareness of their plans will likely stop them from being able to move forward. The message goes as follows. The avian flu, otherwise known as H5N1, is here and is just about to start spreading like a wildfire. Dr. Kawaka is the head of the gain of function research for this specific microorganism to weaponize it and use it against human beings. For those of you who don't yet know what gain of function research is, it is defined as medical research that genetically alters an organism in a way that may enhance the biological functions of gene products. This may include an altered pathogenesis, transmissibility, or host range, such as the type of hosts that a microorganism can infect. In other words, gain of function research turns a non-lethal microorganism into one that is dangerous and can kill its host. It's a weapon. The lethal version of the avian flu has already been intentionally released into the wild as a test and is impacting animals such as birds, bears, skunks, raccoons, and even dolphins, to name a few. The next step will be to spread it to human beings. The goal is to create another pandemic. Only this one is intended to make the last one look like child's play. TLS is currently working on a plan to try and stop this. And part of their plan is to shut down some of the labs that plan to release this to the human race. Another part of their plan is this very video with the hopes that it will be shared and seen by millions. By the way, the labs where this gain of function research is happening are located in the Ukraine. All of this is connected to the war, which is being used as a facade to divert our attention away from what's really going on. Speaking of diversions, the war is not the only one. The arrest of the 45th president, the riots in France, and the political chaos in Israel is all a part of this diversion tactic as well. But the avian flu is not where it ends. The avian flu is meant to bring in the next pandemic, which will make way for two very specific things. Number one, global economic collapse, which will lead to the banks collapsing internationally, not just in the United States of America and thus bring in digital money, digital currency for more power and control over the masses. And number two, a global health emergency, which will give them a reason to bring in the need for digital passports, which world leaders already signed a declaration on back in 2022. As you can see from this article published on November 19th of 2022, it says, at this year's G20 summit in Indonesia, the 20 participating world leaders signed a declaration to introduce vaccine passports for their respective jurisdictions with the stated intention of creating a global verification system to facilitate safe international travel. In other words, just in case there's another pandemic. It's important to note that the vaccine for the so-called avian flu or H5N1 has already been manufactured and the U.S. and many other countries have already begun purchasing these in bulk to prepare, again, just in case there's another pandemic. As already stated, all of this is planned. So what can we do and what must we know? Number one, if you get sick with some type of bird flu, this is not something natural. This is man-made. Number two, stock up on vitamin D and get yourself a nebulizer if you can. Dr. Mercola has a very simple and informative video on how to use a nebulizer the right way, which can be found at mercola.com. And number three, veganism is a good option right now with what's going on. But if you're going to eat meat, it's recommended that you stay away from chicken and turkey specifically. Again, the intention of this message is not to induce fear, rather to give you all a heads up to protect yourself and spread enough awareness before they officially deploy the next part of their plans to infect the human race.
If enough people know about this, they will think twice before moving forward. Remember, we the people have the power. We have a chance to take that power back into our hands right now, peacefully. I, along with TLS, ask you to share this video far and wide to give us all the best chances of getting through this with as little damage as possible. Obviously, this video will not be touched by the mainstream media. And not, I am not able to post it on my regular channels on YouTube, Instagram, and Facebook without running a huge risk of being deleted. This means that we will have to work extra hard to share this video far and wide and to ensure that this reaches the masses and the world as a whole. I'll be sure to keep you all updated as more updates are given to me. Thank you very much.